Don Jr. pushes his nasal cavities to the limit, cheering on Karen Truckers with MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell, whose lawyers are just getting richer and richer while he plays show and tell on his dumpster fire website with everything but evidence of the election he says was stole. Um, is this a coffee cup? No, that's a steak knife, uh, you know. Um, gee, is this a book? No, it's a plate, you know. I mean, this is the world we're in. It's like, it is unreal. It is unreal. The defeated former president has a pillow manufacturer gone mad as a consultant. Everybody's going to prison. We're pulling down this election. The rightful president's in power. All these down tickets, we need to fix every down ticket too that was stole from them. Well, folks, before we all get locked up, I hope you enjoy this new coverage of Tom Selleck's Slow Cousin, the flood of MAGA tears at Trump's latest rally, an update on Canada's Karen convoy, and the latest and stupid from Lauren Boebert, Rudy Giuliani, Joe Rogan, and more. This week, Don Jr. was reminiscing about the only way he can communicate with his father. If only Trump still had Twitter right now. Flame emoji, flame emoji, flame emoji. <laughs> oh. Naturally, I replied, if Diaper Don accepted defeat like a man and didn't incite a violent insurrection, he'd still have his Twitter. Lay off the crazy confidence nose dust and stop playing the victim, you crusty bedsock. Now let's check in with some of the winners at the Trump rally. Unpopular opinion, I'm a flat earther, so, uh, like, i just been talking to some people today, telling them why I believe what I believe. It's like I try to find common ground on, because uh, most people would agree that we don't come from monkeys and that we didn't Big Bang, right? Most people would agree that you're a moron and you can have your own beliefs, but you can't have your own facts. So if you can find common ground with people, then you can start building a foundation of like what truth is, you know, so. And let's go Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> I love the poorly educated. They're my favorite. I can sell them picture books. I can sell them hats from China. If you don't follow the vote, you ain't did no audit. You did a fraud it. A fraud it. It's fraud. It's as bad as the, it's as bad as the fraudulent vote. Great English, Mike. So the only audits that count are by his team with no credentials, or as he says, credentials. Uh, Colonel Phil Waldron, they want to ask all about him because, uh, um, you know, he's, uh, what are his credentials again? What are his credentials again? What was he? Well, he's a reti retired colonel. He was involved specifically in... Pinched face elected official with window pane glasses, Lauren Boebert tweeted... Should the Buccaneers promise to replace Tom Brady with a woman of color? Naturally, I replied, for someone with years of dollar store paint Craigslist spray tans, you sure are triggered by skin color. I guess when you marry the fellow that won an ankle tag for flashing his baby brisket to teens at the bowling alley, it's evident that good judgment isn't your thing. And I pondered that myself. And at the end of the day, I want to sit on the committee that holds Fauci accountable Ooh. when it's time. I want to be there. So send Absolutely. me to Washington so that we can roll heads over there, right? Absolutely. And you, and you heard the latest. They're, 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 they're uh, taking dogs and, and, and injecting them with cocaine. Good. It just keeps going on and on. Look at Lindell's face. Never seen a man so jealous of an animal in my life. It's just all going through his head right now. Gotta get a dog. Where can I adopt a dog? This Fauci guy's pretty cool. I'm sorry, now, I'm a I cocaine. now, I know a little wants... bit about cocaine, Brandon. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, it sure does not. If you want to get Lindell interested in dogs and Fauci, just say the word. For someone that champions his dad for not using a teleprompter, he's always using a teleprompter. That's their unacceptable opinion. That's straight up communism, folks. Canada's Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, accused the trucker convoy of hateful rhetoric, and violence towards their citizens. Don Jr. is still mad that Ivanka likes Trudeau more than him. Keep going, guys. Do what you can to help them out because I'm inspired what's happening in Canada. I'm also kind of upset that it didn't happen here in America first. This should have been going on from moment number one. We should be leading the world into freedom uh, in those sorts of things. It's funny how Don Jr. is upset that America didn't do the big stupid thing first. Guys, we're supposed to be leading the world in dumb stuff, okay? 
And uh, I want to tell everybody, too, I was on a Canadian channel today. Um, it was a huge channel up in Canada. Um, forget the name. Was it? Radio Quebec. Nothing's huger than radio. But it was a... Uh, it was live video, you guys, and and up there, there are big watchers here of Frank Speech, Brandon. They watch, they all watch their their audience in Canada is watching us for their news. Have you heard of Radio Quebec? Do you watch Frank Speech for your news, Canada? Let me know in the comments. You can look at steps. Look how bad Australia is, everybody. Look how bad Canada is, and here we are. We're somewhere in that spectrum. Australia, you thought the Stoldenator was done with you, but you're still number one. How awesome is that, though? The trucking convoy they had is still there. and uh... They are telling doctors and nurses not to wear their scrubs outside of work out of fear of them being targeted for harassment. Ottawa police had to set up a hate crime hotline after so many reports of assaults and threats. That is not awesome. He released a statement from his hidden location Monday that accused the protesters of committing criminal acts. He mentioned vague references to stealing food from a homeless shelter, flying racist flags, and desecrating monuments. By the way, without offering a shred of evidence that any such acts occurred. Terry Fox ran across Canada for cancer research. These idiots drove across Canada against science and democracy and then draped their nonsense on his statue at the end, danced on the tomb of the unknown soldier, and did take food and harass people at a homeless shelter. Click, 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 verify. Organizer Benjamin Dichter is still saying 50,000 trucks in the biggest exaggeration since the cost of the fake fox tree on Pine 11. A lot of supporters of the Karen Convoy are deeply offended that they're being called a fringe minority because they struggle with numbers. I mean a crowd, eh? There must be millions. You hear all that honking? It's so exciting. This is what 1.5 million people actually looks like. Here is the Copacabana Beach for the Rolling Stones in Brazil. Like, that's a million and a half. Can you just see the massive difference between that and that? And you know your protest isn't as big as you want to believe it is when you try and claim every picture of a vehicle is your convoy. Did they think Trudeau was just going to pop out on the balcony and chat with them? All right, what's the problem? One at a time, what's the problem? These people won't listen to their own doctor. They're not capable of rational conversation with the prime minister. The guy Flynn said was too dumb to collude, tweeted, Two weeks to slow the spread of communism? <laughs> Trust us. <laughs> Naturally, I replied, Bone Spur's hoover-headed son is so dumb he doesn't realize he's only accelerating Let's Go Darwin by championing these ignorant bell ends. Since you're sharing Canada stuff, here's a hot pick of Trump Vancouver that just went under. Congrats on continuing to suck at business. I think this is a good time to mention I made these Let's Go Darwin mugs that feature my MAGA Tears logo on the other side. I've got these, some stickers, and other fun mugs. Order one up if you want to support the show. Joe Rogan tweeted a false story claiming ivermectin was shown to be effective against Omicron in a phase three clinical trial. Rogan's tweet came just hours after he pretended to apologize for spreading misinformation on his podcast. I just like to talk to people and have interesting conversations. Kawa Pharmaceuticals, the company conducting the trials, did not say that ivermectin had shown to be effective. Rogan deleted the tweet, but it doesn't matter. The damage is done. 77.1 thousand likes and screenshots. The image is circulating. I only found out about this tweet because all the gym bros and Patriot Vitamin MLM moms were sharing this on Instagram like they were getting a royalty. And uh, Brandon, could, is there any way you could get that website typed out that we could put it up there on the yeah. screen? Yeah, Logan, we can type it up. Say it again real slow, uh, Marilyn, and we'll type it up on the screen real quick. All right, it's going to be House Election Law Committee. Again, that is House Election Law Committee at leg state nh us. That that'd be amazing. That was Bill one zero six four. Yep, HB one zero six four. If everybody could email the Election Law Committee. We really want this bill to pass. 
and we had a huge turnout. Cause of America really stepped up and helped us. And, um, and spoiler alert, the mass singer revealed that its latest contestant is none other than Rudy Giuliani. The only way you can get Rudy Giuliani to wear a mask is on a TV show on Fox for money. It's ridiculous that the guy pushing the big lie is on a TV show, like some sort of joke. Reports say that when it was revealed to be Rudy, judges Ken Yong and Robin Thicke quickly left the stage in protest. Fellow judges Jenny and Nicole stayed on, but to be fair, they didn't know who he was without the just crawled out of the dumpster at P.F. Chang's covered in soy sauce look. The thing that really irks me is that Jenny McCarthy is one of the most famous anti-vaxxers, and Ken Yong is an actual medical doctor. I'm all for storming stages, but start with the ex-playmate that suggested vaccinating your kids means choosing autism or measles. So here you have Australia, Canada, United States. In Canada, it's gotten so bad, they can't stand Trudeau. These are citizens. These are, these are a lot of them liberals that are just going, this is crazy. Canada had a federal election in September and Trudeau remained prime minister. So the idea that everyone hates Trudeau is mega tears. Bedwetting libs crack me up. Now go get tested for the same thing you've been jabbed three or four X to prevent. Har hardy har. Mega tears. LGB FJB Trump 2024. Mega tears. Leftist corporation approved safe commentary. Mega tears. If you're subscribed to this mango, you need head checked ASAP. Mega tears. Liberals are so uninformed, it's pathetic. Mega tears. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend. I am a stand up comedian. I've performed in 35 countries. I've done several arena and theater tours with Jim Jeffries. I have three albums. You can stream them wherever you like. I also have some awesome mugs and stickers that go great with those mega tears. Thanks for watching. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.